time and tangent value will not be imported. So we assume in this task, we were not using a time and tangent value and we will not import from our Excel sheet. So the quantity of overtime for respective employee, we will enter by using ad hoc payroll item before we process again our payroll. So first, please go to employee, uh, please go to payroll and select payroll management ad hoc payroll item. So we will set the ad hoc payroll item of overtime for both employees, which is Cindy Lauder and Tom Cruise. So we start with Cindy Lauder first. First, please untick Tom Cruise and select Cindy Lauder. Then still under the month of April, what we need to do here is we select overtime, then add new row. Payroll chart will still choose month and, and overtime. Over time, we select so the overtime we need to choose is three time hourly rate for hours. So we select money paid three time hourly rate, and for quantity, we select is. 2.5 so this quantity we have to manually enter how many hours that this similar they have worked for for the OT so after you have done enter the quantity then we have to check for pay so, so in the IS and pay tax after that you click on save so once you're done you click on Tom Cruise, but then you untick for Cindy Lauder. Then for Tom Cruise, also under overtime, you click on Add New Row. Overtime we have to select is for rest day. So if you click on overtime for this Tom Cruise, you will see only public holiday or rest day. So which one we want to pay for the OT? So we want to pay OT for the Tom Cruise for working on rest day, and quantity is two times. 2.0 hours so once you're done you click on save so we have done set for Cindy Lauder and also for Tom Cruise so after we have done set in our ad hoc payroll item then we have to go back to process payroll and for this one we don't need to edit because this this Overtime is involved with a new employee. It didn't involve with IMM, so it involved with Tom Cruise and Cindy Lauder. And since we never process any payroll for these two employees, so we have to create a new payroll process. Then for the payroll type, we select is month and for the month we select is April. And for this one, we have to choose only for Tom Cruise and also for Cindy Lauder. Cindy Lauder is under purchasing while Tom Cruise is under SSM. So when you have done select the employee, you just click on process. You have to wait until new payroll created successfully just click on continue so once we're done you will see under summary the senior lawyer purchasing executive has been paid salary 2600 and Tom Kuro 6000 and this is the net pay now we proceed to detail so under this detail you will see the overtime that have been paid to Cindy Lauder is $129.81 and to Tom Kuros is $692.31. As we don't set any rounding adjustment correction, as we don't set any rounding during we set the, the overtime group, so overtime will be remain or this actual amount. So if you click here, you will see the calculation on the overtime. 
so this is the calculation of the overtime which is rest day this is the rate and time with two hours so this is the amount that Tom Cruise will receive for the uh, for the overtime so close this one and click on back so we have done process the hero for Cine Lauder and also for Tom Cruise to see the result on the overtime